Okay, welcome again. My name is Lucian Meyer. I'm with uh, Orania 44 Studios, and today uh, we're going to go ahead and set up a TCP IP headless server um, in Unreal 5. Um, this can be quite the process. The first prerequisite this for this is uh, having the source engine. Um, you can take a look at our, our tutorial on how to create that. Um, so at that point, um, you can go ahead and start following the setup dedicated servers documentation. Um, again, I'll link this in the in the description. Um, I'm going to go a little bit different path than this, um, but basically I'm covering every step. So um, here we go. So uh, let's go ahead and pull this open. OK, so this is my project folder. Uh, under Unreal Projects, um, and we're calling it TCP IP because uh, that's what we're doing here. Um, so the first thing that you want to do is go into the source directory. Again, this is going to deviate a little bit from the tutorial, the documentation, um, but this is just kind of a quicker, faster way to get to it. Anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and copy this file, and we're going to rename it. Okay, so once it's server, then we want to right click the file and click on edit and you're going to get just a basic text editor. Um, and then you can go ahead and go in here and go swap out the anytime you see editor in this file, you're basically going to swap it out for server. Okay, so that should be all it. Um, and then we go ahead and save that out. Okay, so now we're going to go back to our directory and we're going to go ahead and launch the Visual Studio uh, file for our project. Okay, so now we're in Visual Studio and we're going to go into your project name and then the source directory of that. Okay, and you'll see the two other uh, project name target files. Okay, this is basically, um, from what I understand, giving unreal saying hey this is something i can build out of my compile engine so uh we're going to go ahead and go into this source file and we're going to take the server and we're just going to put it into source so it lines up under there make sure you don't get it actually in the try folder but it or in the project name folder but in the in there okay uh once you have that then we're going to go ahead and move on to the next stage Okay, so once we've added the server configuration file, we can go ahead and save out and close out of Visual Studio. We're going to back up to our uh, project directory and we're going to click on our project file and we're going to generate Visual Studio project files. All right, now that the project files are built, we're going to go ahead and go back into our Visual Studio. And we're going to go ahead and set this to development editor and we're going to go ahead and right click and build all right now the editor compile has completed um it doesn't take long not sure uh, again how long it'll take now we're going to go ahead and switch it to the uh development server and again I'm going to wait till it switches over with the project files. And we're going to right click and build. And that's going to go ahead and make the server option. So we'll check back in when that is completed. What are we doing today, brain? Same thing we do every day, Pinky. Compile. All right, looks like our compile is completed, so we should be able to go ahead and launch into our editor and see the server build. Um, I always just go ahead and set it to startup project, and then you should be able to just close out of Virtual Studio. Okay, so now that we have it all encoded, we're going to go ahead and go back to our project folder, and we're going to go ahead and launch our project. All right, so here we are in our third person project. Uh, again, still working. Um, and uh, just a couple things we want to make sure for multiplayer. Uh, one is you want to play it as listen server. 
Okay, so um, you can also on that, you can change the player number to two, um, and then you can actually test inside the editor to see if multiplayer is working correctly. Um, and as you can see, I can control two characters. Um, again, it's a, a bit of a resource pig. Okay, so once you kind of have your project to where you want it and you're ready to encode it to get your servers out, uh, you'll go to Windows here on the platforms and you'll see now that there's try and try server which is try is the product project name um, i set it to development and i'm going to go ahead and do try that's the client then i'll do the server so we're going to go ahead and package that now and we're going to put that in the try folder on the desktop that i've created for it and you can pull up the output log and that is going to give you the compile um, again, this is going to take a while, so I will go ahead and touch base back. Still going. Okay, it looks like it just started its final pack out. So we'll see if this goes. Okay, so I know it says file can't be found, but uh, actually, usually that indicates that it worked. So let me go ahead and look in our try folder here. And yeah, it does look like we have the client. Okay, so at this point, we're going to go ahead and move on to encoding the server. So back here at the uh, third person map, we're going to go ahead and go to platforms going to go to windows we're going to switch it to the uh, project name server or in this case try server all right so we can see it's on development and try server so now i'm going to go ahead and package the product select the same folder you had before and we'll go ahead and put up my output window and we wait all right, so it looks like we just finished getting the uh, server in co uh, compiled. And uh, so we can go ahead and shut out of the project now. Um, if we go over to the directory uh, that we were in before, um, we'll see that we have a Windows directory. That's the client. And then now we also have a Windows server directory. Now, in order to prepare the server, there is a couple more things we have to do. We have to create a shortcut. Um, and then you're going to go right click and go to properties and at the end of the target line we're going to go ahead and put in slash log and that will go ahead and give me a uh, log screen that will show all right so i'm going to go ahead and start up the server now and grant it allow access all right, and then it usually takes a little minute to build the world, but usually by the time you launch the client, you should be good to go. So now I've backed up, I've gone to the client directory, and I'm going to go ahead and launch the client. Also allow access to that. All right, so as you can see, this is the uh, third person map. Now this is not connected to the server yet. In order to connect, you're gonna have to hit the tilde on your uh, keyboard and type in open. And then if it's running on the same computer that you're on, you can do 127 uh, or 127.0.0.1, which is localhost. Um, anyway, okay, so right now I'm connected to the server and it, it looks to be running correctly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set up a little bit better demonstration so I can show uh, that it actually works correctly. So I'll be right back. All right, I just wanted to show how I have this set up. So uh, this is a little server that I have built out and uh, it, it is currently on the screen. Um, so uh, I'm just going to show a couple things. Uh, one that it's on uh, IP uh, 242 there. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, start up the server here. You can see that go. Again, you're going to have to allow it through. It's a different computer. Okay, so there's the server running. 
All right, we're back on my development machine and I've loaded up a client and connected it to that server. So what I wanted to show in this though is actually loading a second client. So you can see the actual multiplayer work here. So we're gonna go ahead and open that IP. And if all works, we have two people in the game. Um, again, I'm running two clients on one machine and I don't have a great GPU, so this is not going to be as 100% smooth as I'd like it to be. Okay, so if you're caught up to this point, you should have a completely running headless uh, TCP IP server for your multiplayer experiences. Uh, I will uh, caution that multiplayer is a, a lot more in depth than just getting the server running, but this is a big foundational piece. And if you're trying to get a headless server, that's basically the place you have to start. Uh, so I uh, hope that you've learned some stuff. I hope that you stop by Orania 44 and check out our primary project, Creative Continents. Hope you'll check out our Discord if you want to talk to us and come up with projects or tutorials that we'd like to do. Leave comments uh, with any mistakes that I've made. Uh, and thanks, and we'll talk to you all next time.